Jeremy Ashburn with SDNukeX.tv and this is the Diagram Designer training video. The goals of this video are to give you a definition of the Diagram Designer, show you how to use it, and give you some tips and tricks at the end. So the Diagram Designer is a step-by-step -step wizard which allows you to put together everything in SDNukeX, all your projects. It allows you to put everything into one single linked campaign. So it's obviously really important because this step-by-step -step wizard really simplifies your entire campaign and it's really awesome and very easy to use. So I've been using it about two or three weeks now and it's real fabulous because it's easy to use It has a user-friendly interface and it integrates all your SDNuke X projects into one intuitive visual interface. So let's take a look at the software. Okay, in order to get to the diagram designer, I just click the wizard button which opens this window here. Alright, you'll notice that there are tabs across the top. And essentially all you're going to be doing is filling in the information and then hitting next until you're all done. So on the basic info tab, we're first going to choose a campaign name here. And here's where we choose the number of profiles. And step three, you're going to enter your money site details. And then here, you're going to put in your keywords. So when you're all done with that, you hit next. Now we move to the next tab, Common Project Settings A tab. Common Posting Settings, you're just going to put in the tags, the subdomain, the title, and the number of links per article you want to use. Alright, so typically you want to put about at least three or four links per article, and also you want to make sure you put in at least three tags in this field here. Okay, and then step two, here's where you would put in the General User Profile Settings. You can hit auto generate here and change the names. Okay, you're going to put the company name here. And here's where you type in a whole bunch of keywords and hit auto select categories. It will then select categories based on those keywords. Next. Okay, common project settings B. Here's where you're going to put in the best spinner login details, your email and password, and then you hit test account. It will then tell you the account is valid. Okay, here's where you're going to put in the author bio and about me section. And so I've already pasted those in here, and then you hit next. So that takes you to the project linking page. All right, let's take a look at the project linking tab. The first thing I want to talk about here is basic project linking. Now, this here is your money site. This is the site that receives all your link juice from marketing. The URLs associated with your money site was entered on step one. So if you entered multiple URLs, the money site will be randomly chosen from one of those three anytime a link is built. So linking to the money site is simple. What you're going to do is click a project and drag it onto the board. So right now I'm going to drag out the social networking project and the social bookmark project. So at this point, they're on the board, but they're not linked. Now to link them, I'm just going to click and drag. And now they're connected. So specifically, that means I'm going to click this top node and drag until the top node of the project highlights and let go. So now a social bookmarking project is linked to the social network project. And the social network project is linked to the money site. So this is basic project linking. What you just did was tell SE NukeX to build social network links to all the money site URLs. And once that's complete, to bookmark all those social network URLs. So at this point, if you're done, you click Next to move on to the next tab, which is going to be the Module Specific Settings tab. The diagram editor actually has a lot more options than just basic project linking. Let's talk about chaining. When you chain a project, it connects both projects together so that one project runs directly after the other. In an unchained diagram, one project runs after the other is complete. In the second to last tab, which is the Universal Settings tab here, you're going to choose how many days you want to spread the entire submission over. Let's say you choose to spread the submission over seven days. On days one to four, SA Nuke is going to build social network links to the money site. 
On days four to seven, SE Nuke is going to social bookmark the social network URLs. But what if you wanted to schedule it so that each day after social networking is complete, it would bookmark the newly created social network URLs for that day? So how would you do that? That's where chaining comes in. Chain projects are connected in tandem. Chain projects run one after the other every day over the course of the submission. The lower chain project performs an action on the URLs from the above project every single time that the above project runs. So let me show you how to set up a chain. To set up a chain, you click an arrow, you right click, hit connection type, chain. And then the arrow turns red, indicating it's now a chain. So what's happening here is the social network is dropping links to the money site. And then immediately after, the social bookmark drops links to the social network URLs. So if the social network project takes seven days to complete, every day over that seven day period, the social bookmark will run immediately after the social network project. Let's look at another chain example. I'm going to drag a couple social bookmark and social network projects onto the board. And now I'm going to connect them. So what's happening here? The social bookmark will run, and after it runs, the social network will run. And after it runs, the social bookmark 2 will run. And after it completes, the social network 2 will run. So all of these projects will run one after the other to completion. Now what if you want these projects to run one after the other over and over again over the course of the submission? To do that, you need to set up a chain. So to click an arrow, right click, connection type, chain. So the arrow turns red indicating it's a chain. And you'll notice that everything below the social network is also chained. So that's an automatic thing that happens. Whatever you connect below the chain will automatically be chained to the projects above it. Now what if you want to clean cookies or change proxies? To do that, I'm going to drag out the toolbox project. And I'm going to connect them. Now when I click on the toolbox project, notice this properties tool window opens up here with a couple options here change proxy or clean cookies and cache so what you're going to do is check or uncheck if you want to change the proxy or clean the cookies as you go along now what if I want to index the links from the social bookmarks here what you're going to do is drag out the indexer and connect it so at this point the indexer will index all the URLs from the social bookmark immediately after it runs. Now what if I want to chain the indexer? Click the arrow, right click, connection type, chain. So what's going to happen here is the social bookmarks is going to run once. And then every day after that, the indexer will index a portion of those links each day over and over again because the indexer is chained to the social bookmarks. Those links will be indexed over and over again over the course of the submission, whether it's seven days, two weeks, etc. So this way, the indexer is indexing a portion of those URL links a little at a time over the course of the entire submission. Also, another note about the indexer, the indexer actually has a max number of URLs that you could submit for indexing each day. So if you go over the daily indexing limit, these links will be automatically pushed back so that they are indexed the following day. What if you want to build links to the social bookmark URLs? This is actually going to improve the search engine rankings of the URLs produced from the social bookmark. You can actually use any module to build links to the social bookmark URLs. But for this example, I'm going to build form profile links for the social bookmark URLs. So let's drag the form profile project onto the board and connect it. So what's happening here? The social bookmark is going to drop links to the money site. 
and then all those URLs will be saved. And then the forum profiles will drop the social bookmark URLs in the forums. Now let's talk about some features you can find in the project linking tab here. You can zoom in and zoom out by clicking the slider here or by using the mouse wheel. You can also move projects around after they're linked. The pan feature allows you to move the entire project left or right, which of course is the same as sliding the project up and down with these sliders here. The quick link feature allows you to easily link multiple projects without having to drag and link. So I can drag out two social bookmarks to the board here. And you click the quick link button and click the first project you want to link and click the second project you want to link. And you can see there that they're linked. And then from there you click the third project you want to link. So now I have two social bookmarks connected to each other which are connected to the money site. So that's the project linking tab. Okay, let's look at the module specific settings tab. What you're going to do here in this tab is actually set up the basic profile settings as well as the specific settings for the modules that you dragged onto the board on the other page, on the project linking page. Okay, so because I dragged the article directory and the social bookmarks, these tabs show up, social bookmarking and article directory. So on this first page, I'm just going to actually fill out or auto-generate the name. And then here I'm going to click Create Email Address. And then you hit Test Now. And that's going to tell you if the email address is correct. You can log into it. And then you're going to click on each one of these tabs and fill out the information for this appropriate tab. Social Bookmarking or Article Directory. And there you go. You can auto-spin these and get an idea of how that works. Preview the sample and check uniqueness. Okay, and same thing with article directory one. Just fill out the information here. And you can do the same thing here. You can preview the sample article and you can spin again. Check uniqueness as well. Okay, so that's the Module Specific Settings tab. The next you're going to set up is the Universal Settings tab. Here's where you choose the CAPTCHA Solving Service. I have my decaptor information in there. You can check the balance to see how much, how much money you have in there. And then here's where you do the System Settings. This is essentially the same settings you're going to set up under Options. You can enable proxies here as well. And then here is the scheduling settings. This is for the chains that you set up earlier. If you want the chain to happen over a period of days, you just click up and down. And when you're done with all these settings, hit Next, Confirm and Create, and you hit Finish. And then that actually creates the project, exports it, and it's ready to go. Okay, let's finish this video with some tips and tricks. Chaining. You want to do chaining and here's why. First of all, the links will look more natural. Secondly, you'll stay out of the Google limelight. And third, you'll move up the rankings faster because more links will be approved and less links will be deleted. I encourage you guys to start off with simple link diagrams. Don't overcomplicate things. I would start with one or two modules and go from there. Obviously save your diagrams and keep track of what seems to work best. And also you make sure you use the indexer to index all your URLs. And obviously you're going to put the indexer below the project for it to work correctly. So the indexer is going to speed up the whole process. And keep in mind there's going to be a limit to the number of URLs you can submit each day. So keep that in mind as you go along. I hope you guys have enjoyed this training video and I'll see you in the next one.